Hello, I'm the shader developer for Dev3D and this should be a simple tutorial for using my shader with your VR headset. Different headsets require different setups, but if you got to this point, if you got Steam VR going, it should work using this method. Alright, so the game I chose was a blood cross matching. Um, there are other games that will work with my shader, I have a list of them. Um, I should update this list right here, but I haven't had time. So the first thing you want to do is actually download my shader. And for that you want to go to uh, well, this this forum post I have this is here. Go to my GitHub and download this as a zip file. You can open that up. All you really need is this shader here or this one depends on which one you want to use and the game settings which will give you settings for different games I am still working on this so uh, give me time to finish that so we're going to need this shader so let's copy this over to the folder that uh, or to the game exe where you want to have it installed oh, I have uh, I had a previous version of reshade installed here so I'm going to delete that Let's make this new and add a previous version of the shader as well. Let's delete that. Put my shader into that folder. You're also going to need reshade, which is um, get it from the reshade's website, which is the same website as this one, it's just the main page. Click on download, download again, and it should download uh, 3.07. But for this game itself, we're going to use a, uh, a different version which will work properly with this game. So instead, go back to the uh, settings folder. Game settings and go all the way to the bottom. And this is a repository of the different reshade versions that you need or there are. This is needed if you have a version of reshade that doesn't quite work properly with your game. So in this case it would be 3.0 and reshade 3.0.4. You want to download that. Once that's finished downloading, you can go and minimize this. You can go and install it. So let's go to my downloads folder and it should be 3.0.4. 3 Start that up. Select game and in this case is blood cm so I have that installed on my desktop. It should be No, 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 we're not doing Tuke Nukem. There we go. That's an OpenGL game. You can install different effects from, from the Reshade uh, collection that says here, but in this case, we're not going to do that, so we'll click no. It succeeded, is what you want to see. Close that. We also place my shader in here. And so. If that's going, it should be uh, good. Uh, for now, you see I already have the headset working, so it, is, it should be good. Um, now we need to, uh, once we have my shader in there, we also have this install. We want to start up a uh, virtual desktop. You should, may want to have that installed. There's also other, like, other uh, systems like virtual big screen or whatever they want to call that. Um, you can use that too, but I heard it has a uh, much harder or harsher pen penalty on your FPS. So in this case, we're going to use virtual desktop. So let's launch that up. It should be starting the Steam VR. All right, that's going. I probably should put my headphones on so I don't uh, play the music over my voice.
on the screen you can set it up however you like I guess but the buttons that should be pretty important to you are F6, F7, F10 and F11 F8 if you use over and under and if it's swapped then it's, you use F9 to swap the current time right. is 10.09 p.m. I guess or however you have it set the default should work I believe my settings for the screen is 90 and screen distance is 1 that's for my headset you may want to change that however you like for your headset so now let's uh, let's go and add a game to this so for this one we'll click on add game it'll be the same place uh, or close to the same place where we installed the other game so oh not Duke Nukem you can play Duke Nukem 3D with this if you like but uh, we're going for blood this time you can launch that up click on play launching blood CM launcher I don't have my headset on right now so that you know I'll put it on when I have the game started or in a bit alright first thing you want to do is press shift F2 click on continue click on uh, the little plus sign uh, put whatever you want in here whatever name for me I'm going to put 3D hit enter click continue click finish alright let's uh, alt tab out of this and go back to the settings really quick so okay in the settings we're going to um, we should have kept it open no it is open no no it's not open so let's go back to the master shader Oh, we pass it. Game settings, and let's look for blood. It's already here. So blood CM for blood cross matching. It says death map two and adjustment eight point seven five. Remember those settings. Also read below. So let's scroll down, see what's what's going on with read below. So this is blood cross matching here. This will tell you where to get the game, how to install it, how to install uh, the shader, and what you need. So there's a little how-to within in here as well if you really need to, and what I needed to change to get it to work properly. So these are more advanced settings for the game, but I already have the game set up, so so it should work this way. So let's go back to the game and remember that it's 8.75 and the death map is two. So let's click on this, change it to death map two. Turn on the shader. You can toggle this by uh, saying your toggle key. So so right now we're just going to turn it on, we're not going to set a toggle key. You can also have a cross cursor in the game if you really need to. So that, that's something. It's inverted, so let's fix that, I guess. Current time is 10.12 p.m. I guess we know the current time. So let's uh turn off that cross shade. Uh, oh, I think we'll leave it on. Do we need it? Yeah, actually, we do need it, so I'm going to leave it on. And click on new game. Way the flesh. Okay, let's see this. I live All right, now we can set the uh, depth adjustment, which is eight seventy-five diversions. I guess in this game we can max it out. Max is thirty-five. We can always overwrite that value. So for this game, it's not very much like advanced geometry in the game. So we're gonna set that to. It's a little too strong, it's too 45. Alright, that, that's done. Actually, no, just set it to 50. It's nice and even. Um, now, with these settings, it should be fine. The game should have 3D already. It should show up very well. So I'm going to put on my headset. Uh, Press Shift F2 to uh, turn that off. 
and we kind of have a perfect egg that syncs with the screen, so that's, that's pretty cool. And then pull on the headset. Alright, there's a split screen, so if I remember the key for this, I think it's F4. Okay, that's not going to be cool. I'm not F6. No, F7. F7 is the key. So basically, with F7, it converts it to like side by side, so it should work with the uh, application. As you can see, I have it working as well. I should change the color of that color. Okay, that's it. games though as we have here for other games you can use virtual desktop as well or you can also run it like in your native screen but you're gonna have to uh, use a different shader for that 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 would be a whole other a whole other uh, uh, thing because that's using the uh, polynormal barrel distortion that shader is for your do-it-yourselfer VR headsets um, I don't, I don't really want to have a tutorial for that. Maybe later, not right now. Just a lot of work for that. It was a lot of work just to even get this headset working. I don't really recommend the old OSBR headset. Maybe the new one's a lot better. I don't know. But it was a pain getting this working. Anyways, that should be it. I don't want this to drag on too long. And uh, good luck.